So on my water trailer, I have this two inch piece right there and then I've got this hose end here so I've got a couple options on how to drain the water out of there or use the water. And then back here I've got my valve for it and the plumbing for it and uh, then the main valve here and from the uh, water tote coming into the two inch but I got thinking I think there's a better way to do this. Why did I even bother to do that spigot on the side? Why don't I just put it right there? I think I'm going to take this guy here and not necessarily move it, but I'm going to put one right there. I think that's going to be better. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. And having that, that water spigot there is going to be, I think, a whole lot better. I'll just drill a hole right there. I'll put the spigot there. We should be good to go. So stay tuned. All right, so here's my cap. And here's my water spigot, three-quarter inch water spigot. So we're going to just put that right there. So, on this water spigot and my keyhole saw, it's a one inch keyhole saw, even though it's a three quarter inch, there's a drill bit to the keyhole saw which helps keep this thing centered. The way that this molding is on this cap, there's like a little circle in the center there. So we're going to line that drill bit up with that hole and instead of drilling from the outside because I got that little piece of sticks out there. I'm going to drill from the inside now we're going to line it up with that hole. Now on this one inch keyhole the way I figured out the size is I just lined them up but I wanted the threads of the to be just a little on the outside so we're going to bite into that cap. Now also I got thinking when I go to drill this in it might come loose. So here I have a a, a small nut that goes with the electrical conduit wire um, clamp and that just happens to be the same threads as this guy here and so when I go to put that on I can put that nut on the opposite side and it'll help hold it. There's little rigid pieces in there, little um, little grooves in there that helps bite it into whatever it is you tighten it onto. So the goal is to have it bite onto that plastic. It didn't bite too well because the plastic is pretty hard, but that's the logic behind it is it grips onto something and so it doesn't come loose. So here I have a table vise, I guess you could call it. Um, you need some kind of vise, some kind of clamp to help hold the uh, the cap in place so that it doesn't move around while you drill that hole in there but uh, and here here I am getting ready to drill it now I do apologize again for the the sound on this when I first recorded this my my video I ended up with uh, was a very loud buzz throughout the the sound so I don't know what happened so I'm just narrating it this time for you guys so sorry about that all right so now I'm done with this now I got my hole in there and then you can see the opposite in there in the keyhole and then I'll just trim this up a little bit, sand it, get some of the uh, the debris off, some debris off of it. But I got a nice little hole in that cap. That's where the spigot's going. So we're going to take this spigot and we're going to screw it right in there. And the plastic in there and these, I should be able to, to create some threads in there just by screwing it in. If you had a tap and die system that might make it a little bit better, a little bit easier, but all I did was I just continued to try to screw it in. It kept wanting to go cockeyed, but eventually after me backing it out and screwing it back in, it kind of strained itself out a little bit. And once I got it going enough to where it kind of held itself in place, then then what I ended up doing was uh, was clamping it onto uh, the table here, and I'll show you that. See, there it is. I have it clamped onto the table now, to hold it, and then I got a wrench out, and then I just tightened it down. And boy, let me tell you, that sucker is tight. Now, I didn't go all the way because, man, I got, I got tired of tightening it. I didn't know if I could tighten it any further. Came through enough that I could put a nut through. There's a, I'm showing you the little groove that's that's left in there, at least trying to. So I could go deeper if I wanted to. And then there's my nut in there. It's not very tight, uh, but I got it as tight as I could. I could put some silicone over it. There's the pliers I used to tighten it down. 
and I can put some silicone over it to help hold everything in place and keep it from leaking. So now, if you notice the way that that spigot is, it's perfectly lined up with the uh, clamps on the end. And I did that on purpose. Now I'll show you here. There we go. Now we have it hooked up, and as you can see, it's all perfectly lined up. So the clamps are locks are up on top. That just makes it easier. You can put a gator lock or a cam lock any way you want, but this just seemed to make sense to me, so I went ahead and did it that way. So let's see if this thing works here. Let's see if I have any leaks or not. Let's see if it even has water coming out of it. Here we go. Big test. Woo! Look at that water. And no leaks either. I went ahead and left that valve open for a while, the main valve and checked it a few hours later and there was still no leaks so I think we're doing pretty good here thanks for watching everyone as I put this spigot onto this gator lock or in most cases be a cam lock and uh, I like this I think this will be a whole lot better than what I had before so um, again thanks for watching be sure to subscribe I do all kinds of things here on the homestead as I try to build it from raw land still a long ways to go um, I'm hoping this next summer here I can get the, uh, the patio and close and that'll be a big step forward and then we'll get into the garden and the chickens and all that later on but uh, but yeah, trying to get the foundation, if you will, down first. So you got to subscribe to catch all the action here on the homestead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And, uh, and I really do appreciate you guys watching. See you. Bye. Have fun.